one of the sahaba one of the disciples of prophet muhammad peace be upon him inquired about the difference between animals and humans so prophet muhammad peace be upon him replied to him one of the disciples the difference between animals and humans that animals live for themselves whereas humans live for others subhanallah we human beings we are obligated to live for others we have two kinds of society introverts extroverts both should be dealing with the humanity vice versa humans cannot live for themselves they have to live for others otherwise there is no difference between them and us this is the nutshell explanation as pertaining to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam hadith now let us come to the point why i read those aya those verses you see the nearest animal like which you can compare to human beings are chimps chimpanzees because that's the animal which is the most intelligent as compared to other mammals in the matter of ingenuity meaning genius intelligent human beings are created from the beginning individual species i challenge all these atheistic giants that show us any connection or bands about human beings that they came from someone or some other species and changed into another form never you never find it all these are theories hypotheses but on the factual grounds you will never be able to find these kind of things speculative data is there speculative datum is there but on the grounds of certainty you will never be able to find yet all the species all the species you find in fossils you find on those things remote places or in the african continent the oldest species we ever found whatever but you will never be able to coop up or bridge the connection that these people may come or these people really come from this no even the early humanoids to call them humanoids means human like not humans 